Yo, what's up guys? It's Elephant, and I'm going to be joining the Reno RS-01 um, prelims. And I'm actually kind of excited for this um, event because this is the hand that I'm going to be using. And if this isn't carbon fiber worthy, I really don't know what is. So I'm really hoping I can get a carbon fiber with this hand. I have the 233 Gumpert Apollo S. 111 Dodge Viper SRD10 ACR X prize car, so that should be very useful. 233 Lotus Exceed Just 1, 233 M3 GTS prize car, and then my RQ Saver, the RQ31 Abarth Grand Punto. It's like, I have the two best legend- oops, wait, all cars? I have the two best legendaries you can have, and they just dominate all the other legendaries anyways. I have a very strong epic that really there isn't much better than. Only thing is I don't have the Caterham CSR, but I have the Exige just one and also I could just drop the Punto against it if I need to save some RQ points or something. So, let's see how we can do. I, if I can get tier 1 somehow and get the Baby Driver Subaru that I really want, then that'll be incredible. But we will have to see. So, we'll probably put you on Slalom so you don't lose too many points. And then G-Force and then Karting. There we go. This is probably a good setup for this hand. And yeah, I think we could probably do pretty well. I'm also lacking that Lotus 340R, so hopefully that doesn't hurt us too much, since we have to use the Exceed S1. But I feel like we should be able to do pretty fine. And I'd also just really like a Carbon Fiber as well, because I think I've said it before, but I'm trying to collect pretty much every Ultra Rare in the game. So even Tier 2, that'll give me that new BMW plus a Carbon Fiber as well, which is good chances for a Ultra Rare then as well. So, yep, yeah, I'm pretty excited just about any carbon fibers I get to open just because of the high chances of getting a new car. Oh, there we go, that's a wishlist one. Don't really know why I had it wishlisted, but I did, so I'm just going to keep it then. Okay, we got a Hutchbot. That's not really wanted because I'd prefer if we had a real person so that we could get more points, but we've got our two drag cars. Then I think karting is the best area for you still. G-Force test probably, and then Mountain Slalom for that. And yeah, this will work out well. Grand Punto went by 128. We'll just skip through this because it's a hutchbot. We already know we're going to flatten him into 39th place now. Collecting more stuff. And yeah, here we go. Next one, please, a real person. Okay, good. So let's just race the top guy and see if we'll be able to beat him. So let's go for it. Okay, twisty circuit. Boom. Indoor karting. Probably boom. Slalom. G-Force and Car Park. That seems like a good way to put all the cars down in the spots. Because the Gumpert, I'll always want to put the Gumpert on spots where I can use it 0 to 60 to take advantage with that. Because if I'm able to take advantage of it 0 to 60, it'll give me quite a lot of points against whatever cars they're using. As you can see, it getting points against their legendary with 59. Only losing by 62 there, which is perfectly fine. Here, I hope will be a win. But honestly, it'll be pretty close. Nope, it, it loses to 340R. Yeah, the 340R is definitely going to hurt not having. But we'll have to see if we can keep on doing well. So in the 22nd now, we still got to win. Okay, next race. Let's just go for whatever the top guy is. I'd say we could do it. Win, win, win. And win as well. Or actually, no, we can go... Boom, 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 and boom. It'll be interesting to see if the Gumper can win on the test pole. We do have 10 better top speed, but that Maserati has really good MRA, but my Gumpert also doesn't have too bad of MRA, so that'll actually be pretty interesting to see. Yep, yeah, okay, we do win the karting circuit against the Mustang. That Mustang's actually probably a nice RQ saver for this event, for like epic tier area, but can the Gumpert not let me down? Wow, it lost to the birdcage. I was not actually expecting that. Hopefully we don't lose by too many points then. 92, all right, that's perfect. Good job, Grand Punto. You didn't let me down, and the Exige S1 shouldn't let me down either because it has better MRA. Yep, there we go. Okay, wow, that was, that's interesting that the Gumpert actually loses that, even maxed out to the Maserati. That just shows how insanely good that Maserati is. But let's see, can we beat this guy? How light is that Mustang? Not too light, and my BMW is lighter. So yeah, we could probably beat this guy. And we can go with you on the, well, either way, it's gonna lose to the 340R. And then we'll go you there, you there, you there. 
All right. Probably should have actually put the Punto on the G-Force test. So it would probably lose less points, but oh well. Okay, oh, that was actually very close. And they 3 2 3 it as well, so we should be able to beat 2 through 3 then. This will probably be a loss, yep, because the 340R is just really good. Man, if they wouldn't have had the 340R in here, I would have been a bit more confident. Yikes, that's not good either. Okay, can we get bonus points with the Gumpert? Nope. Well, that's actually not looking too great now. We're four and one. And this is not looking too great, actually. We should, hopefully, be able to get a carbon at least. I don't really have my hopes up anymore for tier one. But we should be able to get a carbon. It's just I don't have that 340R. I've never unpacked a Lotus 340R. In like all my time of playing this game, and I just still can't pull one. Uh, not that. I still haven't been able to pull a Lotus 340R. And that would be so useful. Because I could totally use it and then go with a lighter RQ saver. Like what? That would be 52. And so let's just see. Or not 52, but 57. So basically that. And then I could use 39. That really wouldn't help anything very much. I'd probably still be using that. But still, it would be a better car. But nope. Can't do it. So back to the Exige and the Punto. And yeah, we'll have to see how we'll do. Maybe there will be a video in two days of me opening the carbon fiber or not. I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting the BMW 330D though, just because it would be a new ultra rare. Plus then we could get some 2005 cars and there is quite a few 2005 cars that I'm lacking in the ultra rare category. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin, thanks for watching, goodbye.